Now you would think, in theory, you would think that wrestling fans would have tougher skin, thicker skin, be well equipped to deal with dumb things that they hear. You would think wrong, of course, because wrestling fans are some of the most insecure, lacking in self-assuredness people that I have ever seen as a community of people, if you will, is crazy. So easily triggered and so often bothered by things that people say about them or wrestling or about them because they watch wrestling. I, after all of these years, after all this time, you can't, guys can't figure out how to be better equipped to handle it. You can't be better equipped to deal with it. Like imagine getting so butthurt and triggered over something that some comedian that so many of you, myself included, had no clue who the hell he was, happened to say about wrestling. <laughs> if you want to beef with him for using the R word, the retard word, then you do that, that's fine. Like, yeah, we probably should be better than using that type of word. I get that. But that, that's not why people are beefing with it. They can try and spin it like that. But the reality is, is after all this time, after all these years, wrestling fans are still getting triggered because other people make fun of them for watching something that's fake. What the hell is wrong with you? You haven't figured out how to better deal with this? You haven't figured out how to better cope with this? You haven't figured out how to better handle this or answer this? Or better off, ignore it? This is worse than the people that I see in the wrestling community on social media. Oh, well, is me. I'm not this and I'm not that. And you're not going to be as long as you try that. What was me? Crap trying to evoke sympathy from everybody. Buckle up by the broad bootstraps and do something about it. Otherwise, shut the hell up. Nobody's here for your pathetic ass pity party. Which brings me to wrestling fans getting so easily triggered by this. Who the hell cares? Because some comedian said things about professional wrestling that you have heard hundreds if not thousands of times over the years? You still can't figure out how to better cope with this? You can't figure out how to handle this? Respond to this? Or better yet, ignore it? I just saw somebody on Twitter a little bit ago. Try to come at me. Me with the response of all, do you know the things that have been said to me because I watch wrestling? No, I would have no effing idea after over 30 years of watching and for almost a decade being on YouTube and on the internet talking about professional wrestling. I would have no idea, absolutely no freaking idea what the hell anybody would say to you. The hell? Of course I would. Then I've heard it more repeatedly, more often, and heard other things that are significantly worse, up to and including death threats. So don't try that crap with me. You either figure out how to handle it, figure out how to deal with it, figure out how to cope with it, respond to it, or by God, ignore it. I can't imagine getting so bothered because somebody knocked you for watching something that's fake. A lot of times you see it coming from people that watch reality shows that are every bit as fake and nowhere nearly having the ability to have those redeeming qualities of entertainment value that wrestling can potentially have, which of course it doesn't really have now, but in theory it's still good. And imagine getting so triggered by this from somebody like a stupid comedian whose whole job is to work you. How appropriate in a business where so many people now, wrestling, don't know how to actually work, that it is so easily for you to get worked by somebody else that's not in wrestling. Like everybody else knows how to work you except wrestling now. Good Lord. Like, does it really bother you that much that people make fun of you for watching wrestling? What the hell is wrong with you? You can sit there and talk about him saying dumb stuff like that. Those types of things typically come, those types of comments come for one of two types of people. 
either people that are projecting their inner guilt for having enjoyed wrestling in the past or still enjoying wrestling and not wanting anybody to know about it, or B, from people that are jealous of the fact that they wish they had something that they could get that emotionally invested in and passionate about, like you do with wrestling. Like, who cares? Here's some tips to help you deal with this the next time. If somebody makes fun of you because they say wrestling is fake and it's stupid, you know what it is. Who cares? It doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. Television shows, movies are also fake. They are scripted entertainment. Who gives a crap? If you like a movie because of the entertainment value, great. If you like a TV show because it entertains you, great. If you happen to like professional wrestling, because it entertains you, great. If others don't, who cares? Can't imagine being so bothered with worrying about and thinking about what other people think about you because of how you choose to find your form of entertainment. Like, ignore it. Don't be the pathetically predictable bait that you too often are. Jesus Christ, evidently, man. Like, be a little more mature about it. Yeah, that's coming from me. That means something, I guess, right? But seriously, be more adult about it. There's lots of crap that's said about me all the time. I don't sit here and come on here and boo-hoo about and respond to all the time. You learn how to deal with it, ignore it, handle it. Sometimes it's valid. Sometimes it's stupid. Sometimes it's ignorant. Sometimes it's racist. All those things. I couldn't imagine sitting there getting so triggered every single time saying, you said something like this about this. Like, we got to be better than this. we got to be more mature than this. But we won't be. And the next time somebody else does this, you'll see the marks in the business responding and being butthurt about it. You'll see the marks outside of the business responding and being butthurt about it. Who cares? The response to him is, do you watch movies? Do you watch TV? Those are fake too. Do they entertain you? Yes, great. Okay, you don't like wrestling or you do. Either way, who gives a crap? It should in no way, shape, or form have any bearing on whether or not you happen to find and enjoy something. You find entertainment value in it. Like, how can you hear something so often? How can you hear something so often and has of, as of yet, the majority of you, not found a way to cope with it or be able to handle it? That's what I don't get here. That's what I don't understand. Just settle down a little. Stop being so easily triggered. Stop feeding in to some of the stereotypes about professional wrestling fans that you hear. Especially when it comes from somebody that a lot of you don't even know who the hell he is. It's not the end of the world. Learn to live with it. Learn to ignore him and stuff like that. And keep it moving, please.